I've tried to imagine the scene being played out without the physical fence separating the man from everyone else. Because my theory is that if there hadn't been a fence and he was just approaching us and sharing our space, he wouldn't have felt so emboldened to yell like that. I think he felt secure behind the fence. Our job as filmmakers and as concerned citizens is to figure out how to get rid of that fence. The rhetorical fence that divides us, that makes us feel safe to yell at one another instead of feeling like we're sharing a community, we're part of a community. Really, Annabelle became like the therapist of Prince William County. She spent many hours on the phone talking to these people who began anonymously contacting us and then gradually could be coaxed into sharing their name and then eventually many of them became part of the story and actually spoke at Citizens Time and a lot of that was due to Annabelle's convincing argument that as Americans it is our civic duty to participate to be aware to be informed to be involved in our political process because if we don't we are in danger of very radical factions having undue influence. This is the only time where you see Eric and I interact. I hope you got the little girl. Yeah, yeah, I got that. She's the... fantastic. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy was so classic. But you know, there was another guy who was taking pictures of us. I'm not sure what his deal was, but we photographed each other. Eric and I entered this whole situation thinking that we're doing a documentary about immigration, because that's what they were talking about, immigration. And over time, we start to discover bits and pieces. For instance, there's an election coming up in November. And the election probably has something to do with what's happening. And that it's probably part of a larger sort of political maneuvering and strategy. Our documentary you know, really is about what happened to this county when someone decided to use it as a battleground.